Hey YouTube, here is some uh, information on the extruder cooling fan. Here's uh, three uh, options we have. We have this one with uh, the magnets set up to be removed. We got this one with the swing away. This is also with the swing uh, swing away. Um, they're all pretty cool. They all work. Um, I tried them. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't take pictures of it or video. So on this one, I will. I'm gonna be uh, using this magnetic one. Uh, that's the way I'm gonna set things up right now. I'm gonna be using this fan uh, setup. It's actually a bigger fan, much quieter than that original one that comes with it and uh, just too noisy. And obviously this puppy here, this fan just never shuts off. It's annoying. Uh, that's the heat sink for the extruder. And it goes right there. I took it all apart and I'm gonna be using this setup. Um, I like this one here because you could put a switch here to turn it off manually. So if you got your printer on, um, actually to me the power supply, I got LED lights up here and uh, one underneath the extruder here and I got a switch for it. Well that kind of helps me see what I'm working on on my printer. So right now I don't need this fan to be on while I'm working on it. I want to turn the whole computer off or the switch I got set up back here. This will turn everything off. And but I don't want it to be off because I need the power supply to be on so my LED solid lights will turn on. Uh, it's just a preference. So um, I will be mounting a manual switch on it for now. Uh, external somewhere maybe so I plan to design my own uh, combination for my needs and I'm sure some of you will use it uh, it'll meet your needs there's a bunch of stuff out there in Thingiverse that it works but when you're trying to comp use a combination of uh, brackets um, for your type of setup it might not work like this one here, this setup here, I had this uh, filament guide before. Then I went with a swing away um, fan deal that goes here. Well, it didn't quite fit uh, correctly here. So here, that's one uh, bracket that we'll have to adapt, modify, or change. Um, but you must have this fan on there contrary of what people are saying uh, you, I believe you could have the heatsink out of the way um, because you could run this without a fan but if you run like ABS or filament that's much hotter what happens is if it gets hot above uh, the heating element down here the nozzle is then it'll start melting before it gets there then the extruder can't push it down and you'll have a mess on top so well there you have it it's not the most prettiest uh, installation on my behalf but uh, it actually works you can uh, I would just slide it down come drop and it actually you can see everything like shooter. You have access to it right away. The magnet just sits there and the factory fan is actually strong enough that you can feel the wind. So the way he had it made on his video, he had magnets installed on both ends. What I did, I put a, a metal nut uh, instead of the magnets and then I JB weld magnets onto this part and as you can see it'll 
grab on just fine. It's super strong uh, to hold that uh, small fan it has under. There's no problem for that. So I was going to use uh, a hot glue gun. Uh, my kids used the last, and you can see how dirty it is. But I decided that the type of pressure is going to be under uh, JB Quick will be the so I'll be uh, mixing some JB Weld, putting the magnets in there.